Welcome to the Broadtech and Promwad podcast series where we explore the critical elements shaping the future of AV and broadcast technology. In this episode, we dive deep into quality control, that unsung hero of successful product launches. Join us as we discuss how rigorous testing, validation and continuous improvement can ensure your hardware and software are market ready and made to last. Joined today by Vadim, head of broadcast and streaming at Promod, and Yuri, head of sales, the sales director at Promod. Nice to see you guys. Yeah, nice to see you. Thanks, guys. I wanted to start with quality control because that's such an important part of development and stuff like that. How does Promod approach quality control? It's always exciting um, to to deal with the uh, quality. So in Promvet and in my particular unit, we pay a lot of attention uh, to the quality of the device because uh, even if, if it is related to broadcasting or pro it doesn't matter. It should work and should be reliable at all times. So 24 seven and uh, there shouldn't be any issue because even uh, on the slide uh, issue could ruin the workflow of the customer during the live event. And I want to ask you, Yuri, what happens when we're talking about some of the, especially QC, a lot of the times I find it's almost like um, an afterthought, especially when they're, they're dealing with contract manufacturers from the Far East. What stages of quality QC that you guys kind of implement at the early stage to ensure that, you know, there are not so many problems, you know, later on? Well, basically, one of the first tasks is, uh, will be uh, that will end up with the quality control is actually defining the proper scope. So that will be the communication with the product owner, because the product it evolves at certain period of times, and customers they typically want to add different change requests, features, etc. So it's vitally important to make sure that the core functionality is agreed, and then it's uh, put up according to the proper process. And, now, and on our side, we think about the pro uh, quality control at all stages, uh, adding proper automation testing, manual testing, because basically everything is aimed to make sure that the end user, if he gets or he or she gets a uh, proper video without any interference, etc., as the equipment works as expected 24 per 7, because the world is very competitive. And right now, any issues and problems in video stream will actually distract the end user from consuming the, the content. And how do you deal with clients that want to fill it, you know, at the early stage with lots of features? You know, they, they're really, you know, they, they want everything in, in that first kind of uh, edition. So we're talking to the business, we're defining their scenarios, we prioritize uh, their needs, their requirements, and yeah, define the particular approach for the hardware and for the software. So the all flows which are going to be used by the customer, they are all automated or they are manually tested. So, uh, but it is impossible to test everything manual. So normally we do automation tests for the devices, not for the hardware components, but for the software and for the firmware. And uh, yeah, that is the close collaboration with the customer, with their product owner, with their product team. So to define uh, how they would use the device and with what pressure they would they would use the device. So, and I want to touch on what an important aspect, which is security. So, what do you, do you focus on any sort of security aspect in terms of QC testing? We're IOC nine zero zero one certified company, and we're going to get cybersecurity certificates in addition. And yeah, uh, all of us understand that the device should pass the certification and uh, we're discussing with the customer what particular certificates they're going to pass. In this case, we're investigating uh, all of these documents and we prepare carefully scenarios so to be sure that uh, the device would pass everything in lab. In addition, uh, we, can, we have uh, different partners like laboratories where we can put the device. It wouldn't be free, it wouldn't be cheap, but uh, for initial testing, then it's quite, um, how to say, cost-effective because uh, we wouldn't spend much effort and time and money, but we would get initial testing results whether we are passing certificates or not. So is that a type of a road test? You're putting it in a laboratory to, to see whether or not pre, you know, pre uh, certification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going in there and go, is this going to pass the test? And that's that's worth its weight in cold. I would presume. 
we actually uh, last year we launched internally a specific service aimed at security testing so we're offering our customers to uh, proper vulnerability testing for for software for firmware to make sure that they correspond with the best, best practices yeah and and you know for mission critical in broadcast particularly and and i suppose more and more in, in prior view certainly in, in mission critical circumstances that that's become a, a hot point you know security testing and you know making sure the back doors are you know about kind of vulnerable so tell me about your approach again you know going back to the qc thing one area that i think um would be really helpful is that a lot of the um when you're working with manufacturers sometimes they don't have enough time yeah. they you know they're, they're rushed for time and they've got to bring out a number of different products all at the same time in a scenario let's say they've they've done a certain amount of work and they want to be able to offload let's say just the qc element of what they're doing is that something is that a service that you can provide them yeah absolutely yeah. actually that what we see on a daily, daily basis because business typically work fast it needs everything yesterday so the internal engineering team is always lawless with internal projects with customer projects etc and whatever distracts uh, them from the side means that they should be done but their team has no capacity so that's when we can can help and basically we come to our customer offering our services and we can pick up like a full project that could be from a to z starting with the specs hardware software development qa uh, and even manufacturing, or we can take care of only about the part of the services. For example, they've done the hardware and they rapidly need to ramp up the team, adding some software developers, firmware, QA, et cetera. So we come on board, uh, take the rest of the work they need to be done, estimate that, and in close collaboration, communication, we deliver the results and help them to deliver the product in time. So that's what we do on a daily basis. And in that scenario, you're essentially a, a part of the, the original yeah. team, really, an extension of that team. Yeah, it's quite comfortable. We're establishing the process, we're integrating our engineers into their uh, team. So we do it like, um how to say maybe smooth and uh uh in a comfortable way so yeah we're integrating the, during the meetings so we're getting the so when we start the project we are starting the training of the team so we do not provide that resources for you no we provide mostly knowledge for them so we're getting the data we're getting the sources uh investigating it and after that we provide appropriate engineers for that particular project. They are aware about the solution. They have expertise in the past uh, in the similar projects, for example, and uh, that is why they are assigned and involved into the customer's team. And, and, and do you follow standard methodologies, Agile or whatever, so that you could just smoothly fit in? If, if, if a company uses Agile methodology, you can just you know pick the right kind of engineers that will work? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, we do so. So uh, all of our approximately, yeah, let's say around ninety uh, percent, uh, we do in agile mode, and uh, our project managers they are agile certified managers, so they could support the customer uh, to establish the whole process. And uh, yeah, the, for the especially for the software engineers, it's quite comfortable to work in agile mode. So uh, having iterations. Well, let's say sprints, it's it's normal so to provide the value and to reach the goal uh, in a particular time. So that's what the customer needs as well. So even uh, if the process from the customer side is not agile, we propose them to shift to that. And sometimes customers, so they, they came to us with their process, uh, it can be also agile. And one of the things that kind of lead me towards working with you guys is that um, I really like the fact that you both do hardware and software. Now, when it comes to QCing, how much of that do you get involved in, in that hardware testing as opposed to, I mean, software testing, of, of course, we've kind of discussed that, but hardware, you know, that part of it is really looking at the layout of the board, looking at the you know, particular components, and also, you know, it could also be recommendation on what contract manufacturer that you need to us. So, you know, we put... Um a lot of attention to the hardware process so we have even the specific document how the hardware should be designed and all the engineers they are follow this document and the most uh, what to say uh, not crucial but the most important that we during the hardware design 
uh, we do several reviews of the schematic. We do the review of the hardware architecture. We do the review of the PCB design. We do signal and okay. integrity testing. Yeah. Uh, so, and that also, let's say, in an iteration base. So the particular part of the schematic was done, for example, for powering, it goes to the review. Uh, the whole schematic after that also. And what we also have, we have a lot of partnership with the chip vendors yeah. like NXP, AMD, different kind of uh, Amlogic. Intel. Intel, yeah. yeah. Lattice, yeah. And we provide the hardware design to the chip vendors to pass their review as well. So they are checking. What really closely with them, you know, in terms of, because we've been on conversations with a few people. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we're working really closely, you know, mainly because it's almost like a, a lot of those chip vendors, but, you know, when they're working with the manufacturers, sometimes they ask, could we get additional help? And they'll recommend yourselves, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah because basically they sometimes don't have enough capacity or for any other reasons, they cannot help the manufacturers to develop hardware software, et cetera. So they refer to us as their like reliable partner to help the delivering yeah, the device uh, to the manufacturer. So we work in very close collaboration discussing uh, what what components shall we use inside and what's the best way to design, et cetera. Brilliant. And so just to kind of close this chapter off about QC, is there any other addition that sets you apart in terms of your QC process that you want to be able to illustrate? Just maybe to summarize that uh, we work in automation process, automation quality, uh, automation testing and manual. I don't know, so... Uh, well, I think that the best answer is to well, we follow the best practices because basically it's very difficult to reinvent the wheel in a well-established process, right? So basically, if you don't want to follow it, you have to invent something better, right? Or like you have to dif do something differently. And from from our point of view, is it it's best to uh, to to follow the best practices. But at the same time, what we add to this process is we always be transparent and frank with our customers. So what if we see that the feature race is not like fitting the capacity, we tell about that. If we see that architecture is not the best can be used there, we tell that and trying to find a way out in the close collaboration because making sure that happy customer is the uh, customer who is returning again and again. Yeah. So we're trying to build long lasting partnerships based on open communication process. Lovely. Thank you.